and here we are guys with a brand new review here in the road beast place so today's presentation we are going to take a look at the total turbo takeover now these are the sets that were released back in 2014 and it was released in hw workshop by the way here's the proof so as you can see it's the same thing the same track set just the colors that are different and you know that hot wheels had gave up on the uh series called hw workshop since like six years ago now i don't know i went to our school <laughs> don't ask me so like i was saying um you guys are familiar with the uh some of the track pieces that are already used you know well this one over here um uh, and uh the other one i put it uh, back onto the box and i've already used it in this track set so if you guys interested and you haven't watched the review yet link in the description as well as on the comment section or at the end of this video but right now stick with me because we're going to take a look at the total turbo takeover so uh, you guys are familiar right now with the front because uh, I have been recording while, you know, uh, <laughs> showing you the box of the front. So we got a couple of cars, you're so fast, and uh, as you can see, uh, it's like there's a Hot Wheels logo over here, to me, which means a treasure hunt. Hold on. Formula Street, Drift Tech. Fast Fish and Howling Heat. Now I got Howling Heat in Morocco. Fast Fish, we got it. Drift Tech, I don't have it. I used to have it, but I don't right now. Anyways, Formula Streets have been a long time ago so yeah, since this guy. And you're so fast, one of the cards that I'm still looking for. <laughs> uh, so I'm not gonna lie, the track set is uh, a little bit big, you know. It's big, you know and um it has a lot of pieces now first of all um these are you're gonna get two of the kicker loops one booster and also the u-turns and everything and these however you know over there sorry oh there you go these are this we're gonna get to that later and then you got the uh thing that pops up and then you know so we got a launcher as well and here are the some of the track sets that we can you know play with or uh, create obviously i like uh, this is beautiful and will be beautiful for a uh, hw track ride so because if you want to make uh, the sets or more of your tracks looks bigger this one is perfect so i'm going to check uh the loops because hold on i'm really curious about uh, these you know there's this uh, person in YouTube uh, called uh, Race Grooves. I imagine it's a lot of time, but he's my favorite, one of my favorite channels. Okay, so uh, I think that um, this is that. And I watched the review when he did a review about this. And basically the cars were actually, uh, for example, let's say we have Riveted. So it's coming over here, but... The track is kind of shifting, so it hits the car hits uh, the uh, the track and then cause it sometimes to crash or get off the track. But I'm actually I'm super excited to show you this guy, Fan Man. Maybe on another track ride, uh, track ride, HW review. Sorry. Anyways, talking is cheap, and let's open this thing. I mean, it's already open. You can see. Oh, okay. I'll be right back. Obviously, this is the car that came with the set, but um, I do want to mention that I got it a couple of times, so I have this version over here, and I'm sure that you know it. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, we got a lot of pieces. Oh, this is the booster, by the way. Hmm. It's very interesting. I might need to make a review about comparing this to the other booster, you know. 
it'll be a really nice in uh, less talk show anyways i'll be right back okay so there's a lot going on <laughs> anyways so as you can see uh, we got a lot of pieces pretty much everything that you see here is um you know um we got it from the set and by the way uh these are just got them okay so they're not on the set and obviously it got high voltage this thing is a beautiful track car well let's take a look at the instructions oops sorry uh this is i think this is uh related to the boosters hold on oh this is the track set so it says 6 to 12 now nah, we're 18 years old and we're still playing with hot wheels i like that anyways so uh you see that 20 it's dedicated to the connectors not the cars <laughs> now because i really thought that was dedicated to the cars i was like wait what to sh i needed to have 20 cars oh my god anyway so the stickers everything mm -hmm. oh there's a mechanism for the booster that i really want to show you later on this is the fifth page ah, i'm really curious about the kirk loops but yeah let me show you let me show you what i was talking about regarding the kicker loops now i think they're wait well they're all straight but hold on okay where is the kicker loop i need to show you this because otherwise uh oh yeah i hope that you can see you see the quick kick loop you see that the track is not straight okay so um sometimes the car is going as a again riveted is going straight and then it turns it hits this part over here you know the corner and then causes sometimes to you know to flip or uh going off the track this is according to like um, race grooves because um he did a review about it and he actually unboxed some of the quick kick loops because he didn't believe it at first but you know dude what what are these oh they're supposed to be u-turns man i really miss the other versions of u-turns now for the booster you're gonna need four c2 batteries and also i'm not a huge fan of the sound that this guy produced I don't know. I found it a little bit weird because, you know, uh, I'm not used to these type of boosters. But I'll get to it. There you go, looking good. So, this is the track that we're gonna start with. And also, uh, let me speak or say to you what is going on. So apparently the kicker loop is normal, it's fine. Dude, I really miss the kicker loops. You know, back in the road beast place, you guys are familiar with the HW truck, right? <laughs> Anyways, this is, I know you guys may be so interested about how this thing can work. Well, first of all, there's two channels. So, first of all, when this car hits, uh, you know, this over here, watch this piece over here, what's gonna happen? You see? And then... So, uh, this channel activates, you know, hold on, check it out guys. So, my finger is gonna pull this, and then when I, uh, you know, uh, let it, it's going to let the other one go over here, and then this stops over here, and then then goes, and then until there, all of them, ah, gone. And then, you see, I did like that, this is channel number one. And this is where, you know, all the balls actually are going to go. Check it out. Can a car make it? Hold on. I don't know. But we're gonna check that out anyways. Obviously, I'm not going to keep up talking because, you know, um, if I did, there's a lot of things that I want to talk about. 
but there will be a long it will be a long video sorry so instead let's start the plane so i got 10 cars obviously we're not going to use uh all of them now the reason why is because there are some that can't make the loop okay so anyways we are going to test if this can handle you know the the or the cars because obviously i'm not a huge fan of these type of u-turns i like the other style you know that we used to have actually but let's see we're gonna start with the barracuda i love this car let's see okay so we're gonna give it two launches Oh, <laughs> so you saw what happened. I do want to mention that not all of the Hot Wheels cars are actually, you know, compatible with the Kicker Loop, but it's okay, you know, as long as they're real cars. I'm talking about real cars, especially real cars, because fantasy cars, they're the majority of track stars. Oh, okay. That was beautiful. <laughs> Let's see another car. Let's see the Camaro. It's the 69 Camaro. Obviously, I do have this one, but I have the convertible one. Two launches. Restart the kicker loop. I moved that so that you can see the balls, you know, rolling around. <laughs> okay, so I think that it needs, you know, uh, to be on a, uh, you know, on a down so that they can roll well. But let's see let's start oh you remember this guy the uh, 69 dodge charger 500 should be now this car should be a truck car okay so you can see that he was about to fly okay but i'm really impressed how this can uh, this you know can handle the the cars in anyways i don't think that it can handle anyone you know any uh car let's see uh ford falcon xb hope that i pronounced it uh like the same name anyway two launches let's go <laughs> beautiful beautiful like that car like the spirit of this car now let's talk about a little bit of fantasy cars here can we do that Yes, because we're going, uh, we're about to test high voltage the car that came up with this set. Oh yeah. Well, Toro Kitano is about to ride his car, so uh, let's see how he can handle this. I'm actually really curious if he's going to make it. Oh, perfect. Yeah, because you know, <laughs> you don't know. Uh, all of the cars and not track cars again. Ta-da! Loop Coop. So we're gonna end up with uh, the URL later on. But, you know. Go. Oh. Okay. That was Loop Coop. Uh, last but not least. The De Yura 2. Let's see. What happened? Go. 